I think that there's two sides of that. One is the impact in Turkey. And in fact, the Turkish government doesn't call this the emergency social safety net. What they call it is the social cohesion program because they believe that it's actually building a cohesion with the Turkish population. It works through the same way. Uh, it uses similar criteria. It uses similar transfer values. So it makes sense to the Turkish people. On top of that, where has most of the support come from? It's actually come from poor Turkish people living in the same areas that the refugees are living themselves. And I heard a lovely story the other day. I was visiting a family and uh, the woman said one day she was trying to explain to her landlord that she didn't have enough money to pay the rent. And a Turkish person walking on the pavement just stopped, gave over the money and said, now your rent is paid and walked on without even letting her say thank you. So by doing this program, we've taken a lot of the stress and strain off some of the poorest members of the Turkish population. So I think it really does build a cohesion at that level. Where it's possibly more difficult is to assess the cohesion that it builds with the European countries, where the, the migrants are, are still trying to come to in many cases. Um, and I think what we're hopefully we're doing, because we're doing a lot of work around the program as well as the actual assistance, to try and build that using a system of European influences to present uh, the refugees as people, not as an, an unwanted uh, burden on the countries. And uh, we've done a lot of videos. They've been very well received. In fact, we're getting many more hits than we expected. Uh, it's been picked up well on YouTube and this sort of thing. So if we can present these people as people with real needs, with the same concerns about growing, their children growing up, going to school, how to put food on the table, um, I think this actually helps the European understanding of who are these people and why have they had to leave their homes.